My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Glamma. Oh, I love you too, Glamma girls. Hi everyone, welcome back to Made with Love by Glamma. I'll be your host today. So today we're going to be making a baby mitten, a newborn baby mitten so that they don't scratch themselves. As many of y'all know, I have a new Glamma girl coming soon. She'll be here February 26th, so really soon, right around the corner. So I made these little mittens right here to match the little newborn tube ankle socks that I made recently. And I also wanted to show you a little dress that I made. I came up with the socks because I had made this dress for a newborn. I haven't finished it. I still have strings hanging out. But yeah, this is the little dress that I've made and it's so teeny tiny. It looks big on camera, but it's really, really tiny. Um, and I made it really small on purpose so that it'll fit the baby as soon as she is born. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a white collar right here and a white collar right there. And then I'm going to sew a little rose on this collar and one on this one. And so I'm also going to sew a little rose on this side of the little tube sock right there and then one on the other side as well and then when I'm all done with these I'm thinking I'm gonna sew a little rose right there as well so that it's all matching so yeah I'm so excited so if you guys are interested in learning how to make these little mittens that I just kind of came up with the pattern yesterday um, so yeah and uh, I also will tell you um, that you can make these for toddlers as well because I know that with toddlers it's hard to get finger gloves on them because their fingers aren't coordinated enough to open up for you to get actual gloves on or even mittens sometimes mittens with the thumb so I figured you can use these up to like probably um, 12 months old or maybe even more but this size I made specifically for a newborn but to make them for a toddler just make more rows so yeah, it'll be super easy for toddlers as well, and it'll keep their hands this winter nice and toasty. Alrighty guys, if you're interested in crocheting this mitten along with me, I'll let you know what you need to get started. I'm using Bernat Softy Baby yarn in the color Lemon, a 3.0 millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and a stitch marker and I almost forgot some ribbon. Okay, let's get started. Oh, and before I forget, I wanted to let you know that I am working on the um, pattern, written pattern for these um, tube ankle socks, okay? So I am working on it. I just, just be patient because I have a lot going on. Um, I've got a lot of channels to videotape for and a lot of social media to keep up with and requests and stuff like that. And I'm also trying to crochet for um, gifts for my family. Um, I'm making slippers right now and I want to make sweaters and scarves for them. So yeah, I'm pretty busy too. So I am working on the pattern for these and I will also um, have a pattern for these mittens as well. So just be patient. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna get started. And we're gonna start with a magic ring, okay? To make a magic ring, it's just like making a slip knot, except we're not gonna pull this all the way up. We're gonna bring the tail up from behind like that. And then we're going to yarn over and bring it through that loop. And there you go. All right, so there's your magic ring. You might need a little practice, so just go ahead and rewind if you do. And now we're going to chain two, one and two. So we're going to make double crochet. So I only chain two because I'm using that first little loop as a chain because, you know, for double crochets, you need to chain three. So I have that loop and then I chain two. So there we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to make 14 double crochets into the magic ring, all right? So yarn over, go into the ring, yarn over again, pull up a loop. Now you have three loops right there. 
Now you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna go through two, yarn over and go through two, and that's a double crochet. All right, and for those of y'all that are having a little difficulty, just close up this little magic ring a little bit. It makes it a lot more manageable to work with. All right, so now let's yarn over, go into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. So I have two double crochets plus a chain, but I want to make um, 12 more double crochets. Okay, so I want 14 double crochets plus a chain at the end. I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, so I've got my 14 double crochets, and now you can pull on that initial tail that we made. It closes up the little ring there, and then we're going to weave this in with our tapestry needle, okay? But for now, let me go ahead and just show you how to continue. We're going to start round two. So now what we're going to do is we're going to ignore that chain that we made, because I like to use my chains as fillers so that there's no gaps. We're going to insert our hook into the very first double crochet stitch that we made, pull up a loop, and slip stitch that closed, okay? And that little chain is our filler, and now there's no gap. Okay, and so now right into that same stitch right there where we just made our slip stitch, we're going to make another slip stitch, okay? So make another one, okay? And now grab your stitch marker and it's a little difficult to do because it's an itty bitty little stitch but put your stitch marker right into that slip stitch because then when we come around we'll know that that's where row two ends okay and that'll be the beginning of row three that way you can keep track of your rows okay so there's a slip stitch this is going to be our increase row so we're going to put two stitches into every stitch. So we just made a slip stitch into there. So now let's make a single crochet into that same space. Okay, so there's stitch number two. And now into the next stitch, we're going to make a half double crochet. Okay, and into that same stitch, we're going to make a double crochet. And double crochet is the stitch that we're going to be using for the rest of the project. Okay, and now we're going to make two double crochets into each of these stitches, okay? Here's one. And two. Okay, so we're just going to continue that way all the way till the end, till we get to the other end, and then I will meet you back here, okay? So put two double crochets into each of these stitches. Have fun! Okay, so I've got two double crochets into each of the remaining stitches, and I wanted to come back and explain to you why I started with a slip stitch, and then a single crochet, and then a half double crochet, and then worked my way up to the double crochet. I do that when I know that I'm going to be working in a spiral, in a continuous spiral, because I don't like to um, always join my seams with a slip stitch, because sometimes it's it's a um, kind of an obvious seam and so to avoid that I usually try to work in the round so by doing the slip stitch and working my way up to the double crochet it kind of makes it seamless it grad it's a gradual incline so that you can't see exactly where I began and ended okay all right so I'm here now and there's my stitch marker so I'm gonna take out the stitch marker right there so we're going to make a double crochet right into that slip stitch that we made from the previous row, okay? And now we're going to make a double crochet into the single crochet stitch. Okay, and now into the half double crochet stitch and we're only putting one double crochet into these stitches oops I forgot let's go put our stitch marker back so there's the one on top of the half on top of the single and on top of the slip stitch so let's put our stitch marker back into there so that we know where this row ends and where the new row begins okay so now a double crochet on top of the double crochet all right, and now we're just going to put one double crochet above each 
stitch from the previous row, okay? And then meet me back here when you get to the stitch marker. Alrighty, see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm nearing the end of row three here. Okay, so just go right into the stitch where the stitch marker is because we're working in a spiral. Now take that stitch marker out and move it up there to that stitch. Okay, now we're just going to continue. And that was the end of row three. This is the beginning of row four. So just keep doing that around and around in a spiral until you get to the end of, I believe, row eight. Let me go check. Yes, row eight. I just went and looked at my notes. I'll meet you back one, two stitches before the stitch marker. So work all the way up to here and then leave one, two stitches and then the stitch marker stitch available because I'll tell you what to do next. All right, have fun. Okay, so I'm nearing the end of row eight and I wanted to let you know that I forgot to tell you that I used a second color of yarn. I used white and we're going to use that here in just a second. So go ahead and get yourself a second color of yarn if you want. Um, so I've got two stitches before the stitch marker and so I'm going to make a gradual decline so that you can't see an abrupt little ledge like that, okay, to end this little mitten part here. And now we're going to make this little um, white part right here where the, um, where the ribbon is going to go through. That's what we're going to do next. And then we're going to do the shell and then we're done. Super, super easy project, you guys. Um, and even if you don't have babies, but if you know of someone that's going to be having one, this is a great, great gift and they work up so, so fast. I've only been off camera for about maybe 10 minutes and I did all this in about 10 minutes. Um, okay, so to make a gradual decline, we're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, and we're going to make a half double crochet, okay? And now in the next one, we're going to make a single crochet. And then in the next one, we're going to insert our hook into that stitch, but we're going to drop the yellow and we're going to pick up the new color. Okay. And we're going to bring that through as our slip stitch. All right. Cause we're going to switch colors now. Alrighty. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the white tail to this yellow working yarn. Okay. So you can do the same if you want. I'm not going to um, cut the yellow. I'm just going to continue working because after we're done with this row of white, we're going to pick up our yellow and do our last row. Okay, so now we're going to chain, let me see, four. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to take the stitch marker and place it on, let me see, one, two, the third chain. Okay, and so now I am going to yarn over and I'm not going to go right back into there. I'm going to go into the next stitch and I'm going to make a double crochet. And then I'm going to chain one. Let's just continue doing that all the way around. Okay, skip that stitch and go into the next one and make a double crochet and then chain one. Yarn over, skip that stitch, go into the next one, and chain one. Do that all the way around, and then when you get here, we are going to slip stitch this closed into that chain where the stitch marker is. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so I went all the way around, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hook right there where the stitch marker is, but I'm going to drop the white now, and I'm going to cut it right here. Okay, and we're done with the white for now. And now we can pick up the yellow and we can slip stitch that closed, okay? Alrighty, and now we're gonna chain one. We don't need the stitch marker anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate that little white tail after all. All right, so now that we've chained one, we're going to go into that chain one space and we're going to make a single crochet, okay? And now we're gonna make five double crochets into that same chain one space. We're making shells. So there's one double crochet and 
two and three and four and five and then we're going to end it with another single crochet okay all right so we're still incorporating that tail so there's one shell and now we're going to go into the next chain one space and do the exact same thing single crochet and then five double crochets okay and then end it with a single crochet and you're going to follow this sequence of shells all the way around in all the chain one spaces and then i will meet you at the end Alrighty guys, I've made my way around. I just need to make my last single crochet for this last shell. And now I'm going to end it by making a slip stitch right here in the beginning single crochet that we made. Okay. Alright, and then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to cut the tail leave myself a little bit of room to weave it in and we are finished with our little newborn maybe maybe baby mitt I meant to say okay so I cut a ribbon about 14 inches long maybe a little bit longer and I uh, went in through one of the spaces and I'm just weaving it in and out of these chain one spaces that we made like so See, I'm just weaving it in and out. Okay, so there we are. And now I'm just going to tie it. Okay, so there it is. They are so, so adorable. <laughs> okay, so that's what they look like with the little rose on there. So I'm definitely going to do that for the socks as well. I'm going to put it on the outer part of the ankle of the sock. I think they came out adorable. So let me know how you liked this tutorial and let me know who you made them for. And you can send me a picture of the baby that's wearing them on my Facebook group page. I love pictures. But alrighty guys, thank you so much for joining me here at Made with Love by Glamma, where everything here is always made and taught by me with love and i can't wait for my little glamour girl to get here Alrighty, guys i love you so much and thank you so much for watching the commercials and ads for me at the beginning and at the ends of the video and sometimes i know they appear in the middle of the video so if you don't mind just watching them all the way through their entirety it helps me to continue to bring these tutorials to you for free Alrighty, guys i love you so much don't forget how much i love you and don't forget to love yourselves and everyone you come in contact with. Alrighty, bye! Mwah. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching our Glamour's channel. channel.